Good day, everyone. Here's Dallas Hua Yun Chinese Orchestra with the exhibition of Asian musical instruments. Music represents a historical testimony of human civilization, and the creation of musical instruments embodies human wisdom. Through a wide variety of musical instruments, which come in many different shapes, different sounds, and different melodies, we can feel firsthand the tangible pulse of multicultural prosperity. This virtual exhibit focuses on select Asian musical instruments from countries including China, India. And Japan, together with highlights of instrumental performances by professional musicians, the exhibit consists of the following five parts: Part One, Introduction and Greetings; Part Two, Historical Retrospect; Part Three, Musical Instruments Exhibition; Part Four. Performance demonstration. Part five: Teaching and education. Good day, everyone. I'm Daniel Chen, director of Dallas Huayun Orchestra, a non-profit organization. Welcome to our exhibition. We hope you can know more culture by listening different music, enjoy and share the different music that makes our life richly colorful. We are grateful. To the communities who supported to Huayun in last uh, and uh, past few years, and we are grateful to the sponsors who graciously contributed to Huayun Orchestra and this exhibition, and uh, we are grateful to our preparatory group to this exhibition, especially. We are we appreciated our chief sponsor, the Center of Asian Studies, University of Texas at Dallas. Now let's welcome Mr. Dennis Kress, the founding director of、uh, Asian Center of Asian Studies, University of Texas at Dallas. As director of the Center for Asian Studies at the University of Texas at Dallas. It's my pleasure to welcome you to this exhibition of Asian musical instruments. We're particularly pleased to partner with the Huayang Orchestra in this exhibition. You know, while musical instruments vary from culture to culture, music itself is the expression of a shared impulse of all humanity. That is to make my life more beautiful, less ordinary, and more harmonious. The Center for Asian Studies is devoted to bringing about greater knowledge, appreciation, and understanding across cultures, particularly between the United States and Asia. And music is one perfect way to represent the creation of a more harmonious society. 
Hello, my friends. My name is James Wang, the conductor, a former director of Huayun Traditional Chinese Music Orchestra. Founded in 2013 as a non-profit organization of a musical group, registered in Plano, Texas, the orchestra has successfully held its first concert at the University of Texas at Dallas in 2014. This year, we will resume our annual concert on October the 16th at ATAC Center of UTD, along with the school reopening program, sponsored by Center of Asian Studies. I hope you can come and join us for this concert. Now, we invite you to enter the exhibition hall and start your wonderful musical journey through our very first exhibition of Asian musical instruments. We are on the fourth floor of Skybridge, Johnson Performance Hall of the University of Texas at Dallas. As you may know, the musical instruments in ancient China had passed through thousands of glorious years. These precious stone rubbings are just illustration of the tape of iceberg. This rubbing stone inscription from the late Tang Dynasty of the 10th century, showing us a beautiful musician holding a plucked stringed instrument called Yuan. There are many kinds of musical instruments displayed in Fatian stone carvings, which provide us with rare first-hand information for the study of ancient music continuation and the characteristics of musical instruments. Here are the exhibits of four types of musical instruments wind, string, plucked, and percussion.
My name is Alex Schrader. And this Next, we would like to invite the instrumentalists to give us more introductions about typical Asian musical instruments. These musicians are from the Dallas Huayun Traditional Chinese Music Orchestra, Fort Worth Japanese Society, as well as the local India community. Or red blossoms blooming everywhere, which is a part of the Shang repertoire since about 1960. Enjoy. Hi, 5,000 years, and it's from the southern part of the China with the rooted. It's called Xiao. So today I'm going to play a song that's based on the martial art classic uh, back in 1983. I hope you enjoy. piece of the Chinese bamboo flow traditionally, the horse racing. which is called Hulu Si in Chinese. It's made of gourd and the bamboo pipes. I'm going to perform a musical piece, which is called a girl who naturally is a singer.
This is a Chinese two-string instrument called Erhu, and uh, also called a Chinese violin. This instrument is called banhu. It is made of the, like here is coconut shell, believe it or not. It has a very high pitch, and the piece I'm gonna play is called the happy girl in the Chinese New Year. Thank you. This is called Jinghu. It's a major string instrument in Beijing Opera. And uh, the material is uh, bamboo. And uh, the stick and uh, the sound box also made of bamboo. The sound is like this. This is a Gu Zhen, you can say Chinese harp. The fisherman's song depicts Joy's scene of their returning home with a full load on the rippling lake in the sunset. Hello everyone, my name is Tao Zhang. I want to introduce you this Chinese four-string instrument. It's called pipa. It's also called uh, Chinese flute. It has more than 2,000 years history already. When you think of kumidaiko, 
or the Japanese drum ensemble, this is probably what you think of, a large group of drums. But it's the unique voices of each drum and the other instruments that are not drums that create the distinct kumidaiko sound. Let's take a listen to each of these drums and other instruments now. The first drum we're going to talk about is the hira daiko. The hira can be any size. Its distinguishing feature is that it is larger in diameter than it is deep. Let's take a listen. The next group of drums that we'll look at are the odaiko. Odaiko come in many different sizes. The O just means that they are the largest drums in your group. Our odaiko also happen to be nagato daiko, which are barrel shaped. Let's take a listen. The next drum we'll listen to is the chu daiko. Chu means medium or middle size. As you can see, these also come in various sizes and colors. Let's take a listen. The last drum we're going to listen to today is the shimei daiko. Oh, hold on, you can't see it. There's a taiko player in the way. There, that's better. If you look to the right, you can see the Shimei Daiko. It is the smallest Taiko. Let's take a listen. Kumi Daiko doesn't just consist of Taiko though. It also consists of other instruments. The two most common of which are the Fue or Shinobue, which is a bamboo flute, and the Chapas, which are small hand cymbals. Let's take a listen to both of these. Namaste. Welcome to the exhibit of Indian musical instruments. There are several instruments used in Hindustani, classical, Karnatak classical, folk music, dance, and drama performances. Today, I'll be sharing three instruments which are widely used in Hindustani classical and folk music. Two of them, tabla and dholak. These two are percussion instruments and this is harmonium and it is a keyboard stringed instrument. So dholak, this is a, a barrel shaped two headed instrument. So there are two heads here. This is a bigger, larger head, and this is a smaller head. The larger head is made out of buffalo skin, and the smaller head is made out of goat skin. And smaller side, this one, the smaller head, it's usually a high pitch, and it's used to play sharper notes. And the larger head, it is made out of buffalo skin, and it's for low. Now I demonstrate how to play dholak. It's on some Jam Tore Sharan Kamal. Uh, 
for rag based devotional compositions This is called tabla or daya, and this is called baya or daga. And tabla as language uh, can be called bowls, and this is how we say the bowls: uh, na, tin, tun, ti, t. And in the baya you have ge, ke. And you can say combine this and say da in. You can also play things like da. You can say da. These has to be again recited in cycles or thals. I'm going to demonstrate a couple of thals for you. Uh, the main one being thin thal. It has got 16 beats. Uh, this is how you play it. Another important thal is dadra. For many years, the Dallas Huayun Orchestra has not only performed at various charity and community events, but also promoted the traditional music cultivation and provided learning opportunities for traditional music lovers. Their dedication has enriched our multicultural community vibe.开始弹宇宙唱晚的后半段哈，从那个拉拉开始，那最主要注意的地方是那四个音的渐强渐弱，嗯，要把握好，手腕放松，好，可以开始。
Thank you.